chapter 6 and verse 6. Uh -huh. But thou, when thou prayest. So this is Christ. He's giving instructions on how to pray. Right? So let's see what he's saying. Enter into the closet. He said do what? Enter into, into thy closet. closet. Go ahead. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, uh -huh. which is in secret. Uh -huh. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Verse 7. Uh -huh. But when ye pray, but when you both to pray, go ahead. Use not vain repetition, uh -huh. as the heathen do, uh -huh. for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, so you agree with that? But Christ told us, he said, don't pray in the street. He said, because one the hypocrite, they don't want to go up praying in the street. But he said, but when you pray, you can change it. Verse 6. No, verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. And when thou prayest. Oh, when you're supposed to pray, go ahead. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. He said, don't be like the hypocrite people are, right? For they love to pray, uh -huh. standing in the synagogue, uh -huh. and in the corners of the street, and, where? and in the corners of the street, uh -huh. that they may be seen of men. Uh -huh. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So how are we supposed to pray according to what Christ says? So he tell us, don't go out in the street praying for people like that. You agree with the scripture, sister? This is the book of Revelations, 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. So the Bible says anybody add to the Bible, they own feelings of what they should do. Like you might say, I won't go out and pray for people because I feel like that's right. That's adding to the Bible, right? Read, it from, read that again today. What? If any man shall add unto these things, uh -huh. God shall add unto him 
the plagues that are written in this book. Do you agree with that? Hold on, hold on, because you're about to the add word your of, The finish. word of God is inspired by God and God only, you know, and, you know, I don't doubt that what the scripture is stating is God's word, but us personally, we believe that God has called us out there to spread the word and to pray over those that are in need of prayer. Yeah, but how did, how did God and the disciples spread the gospel to people? They actually doing like what we're doing. Like how they set it up, and it's documented in the Bible, how they went out and spread the gospel. Jesus Christ never, he never baptized anybody. Jesus Christ never said over a person and said, let me pray and let me do that. He never, and it's not documented nowhere. He told you, if you do that, you're a hypocrite. And then he said, like you said, well, I think we, so that's where you go wrong. When you say, I think. You don't supposed to say, I think. You're supposed to say, the Lord said. No, you know in Proverbs it says, lean not onto your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all your heart and all your mind. Right? Read that precept. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Right. The Bible is none of your private interpretation, man. When you see. That's why Christians go off that, man. That's right. Because the first day she started saying, I think, I feel. The most high don't give a damn about how you think or how you feel, man. Go back to Deuteronomy 4 and 2, because it got a little bit more added on to that. Read that precept, bro. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord uh -huh. with all thine heart, uh -huh. and lean not. Unto thy own understanding. Right, you don't supposed to be leaning on how you feel or what you think, man. You're supposed to be able to, every word come out of your mouth, you're supposed to be able to prove it with the scripture. Get, get that in Peter's form in that. Go ahead. Keep going, Paul. In all thy ways. In all your ways, all your saying. Go ahead. Acknowledge him. Right, you're supposed to use the Bible. You're supposed to acknowledge him. Go ahead. And he shall direct thy path. He's going to direct your path. Go to Ezekiel real quick. Where it says, speak with my word. So, all through the Bible, when he was talking to Ezekiel, did he, did he tell Ezekiel, go down and talk to people and use your own vain, your vain opinion, your vain words. He says, use my word. Right, read that. This is the book of 1 Peter 4 and 11. Uh -huh. If any man speak, uh -huh. let him speak. As the oracles of God. If you want to go out here and talk to people, you supposed to use the Bible, not praying over. They had not one Bible in their hand. Nope. Christians don't never use the Bible. You know what they do? They come with them little pamphlets that they wrote down themselves. They don't never use the Bible. The Bible says, if any man what? If any man speak, uh -huh. let him speak as the oracles of God. If you want to talk, bring me a scripture. Don't come out saying, I think. And that's where you go off at, right? Go ahead. If any man minister, uh -huh. let him do it as the ability which God giveth. Right, you're supposed to minister the way the Bible tells you to. Right? That's right. That's why you got to study. So when you do stuff, we was into that Christianity garbage too. We was doing the same thing. Let's go out and pray for people. Give them a bottle of water. You go out and pray for these people. They going to be a sinner. They're sinning, they going to continue to be a sinner. Teach y'all. You know, we're all that praying, and they ain't going to do nothing for them. Because the most high, give me John chapter 9 and verse 31. Read that real quick. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. Right, speak my words unto them. Not speak your stuff, not your opinion, That's your right. thoughts, what you think. So especially women. You see who was leading the guy? The what? men in the back. And the women in the front. That's right. The men was in the back and the women in the front. They should have said, sister, you don't even supposed to be out here talking. That's right. Uh -huh. Women don't even supposed, they supposed to shut up. They don't even supposed to be out here talking about nothing. Come on over here. I knew you was a scoffer anyway. I called you out an hour ago. Come on up. Come on up. See, I know the most not dealing with me or what? I called about. I just, the comment you just made about the Let's go. Let's see can women teach the Bible. 
Porter. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 14, verse 34. Go to Timothy, verse 20. Let me speak. Let's see if, it, if what you saying is right or what God is saying. What did you just say there? I said women don't supposed to be out here ministering and teaching the Bible to people. Okay, but... You said yes, they do. No, I, no, I didn't say that. I said the way you said it was derogatory. You said it as if they could not. And I'm saying, any, like y'all... Let me try this chapter two. No, hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you go ahead. I'm saying sure. any person who reads scripture as y'all are students of scripture can preach, can, can minister. So if a child can minister because he reads scripture, a woman can as well. You cannot box women into a corner. And, hold on, you cannot. You, you feel me? Because, like I said, a, a little kid, me, you, women, we can all read scripture. So then, it would be irresponsible for, for example, for a woman to read scripture and then not spread the gospel. And then, another another problem I have, I have no problem with y'all ministry because y'all doing God's work, and I appreciate that. Because at the end of the day, we're children of God, right? Um, one issue I have is when you say Christians, I understand the problems that happen amongst Christianity within the corruption, and like you said, many do not even use scripture. That is a problem. However, the, the term Christian, Christian means believer of Christ. So if y'all believe in Christ, y'all are Christian. We may not subscribe to the same uh, malfunctions and, and, and ideologies or discrepancies that these Christians together do, you know, because they sometimes do not read the word. But all I'm saying is if you believe in Christ, you are a Christian. So then for... Hold on, I'm gonna let, I'll let you talk a long time, but I'm gonna just say one thing. When I get ready to talk, I need you to stand here and listen. I'm listening no, I to you for a moment. Because when I, I, I talk, a lot of people, no, what I, they like to do, they no, breathe they don't in, then they walk off. They don't, don't, don't do that to no, me, though. Right. But what, I'm not disagreeing with anything. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not pointing to say, y'all are, y'all are saying, y'all are false prophets, y'all are preaching something that's not it. If y'all come in with the Bible, y'all speaking gospel. You feel me? And that's, 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 y'all are doing God's work. Y'all are spreading the gospel. That's it. But when, when the problem that I say is when you lump Christians as a term together and then make it seem as if they're bad, brothers, you guys are Christians if you believe in Christ. And you guys maybe, you know, have your ideology that you subscribe to in your practices. That's, that's okay. But at the end of the day, if you believe in Christ, you are a Christian, brother. And that's my problem. So then if you're saying you're attacking Christians, you're attacking yourself. And you wouldn't do that as kings and uh, priests that you are. You wouldn't attack yourself. Because at the end of the day, we're what? Soldiers of God. Soldiers of Christ. So then at the end of the day, I cannot say, even though you may be right in the sense that some Christians do not come prepared, you know, with scripture, you cannot say uh, Christians are this, Christians are that. Because at the end of the day, if we believe in Christ, we're Christians. We may not agree with the problems that are going on in the churches, that's a problem. All these churches, there are these issues that are going on. But if at the end of the day, we're Christians, brother, we believe in Christ. And, and, and that's my issue is you cannot attack a group of, of unprepared people, as you would say, that do not come with scripture, become unprepared as unprepared Christians. But to lump all of us to say we're bad, we, we be insulting ourselves. Because all we're doing is trying to do God's work. You feel me? And, and, and that's it. So then, and, and that's my only issue. I have no issue with what y'all are doing because y'all right. coming with the Bible and that's fine. Now you made a lot of points in the stuff you're saying. I'm not trying so to I'm going to tell you this. Yes, we are Christians because I'm going to show you according to the Bible we're Christians. We don't follow Christianity. Exactly. 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 So Christianity, Christianity wouldn't be the religion, but Christians, we are Christians. We are people right. of Christ. So then that was my issue. Hold on. But look, Christianity is a man-made religion. I understand. Okay, so we follow Christ. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Read that. Don't go nowhere. This is the book of 1 John 2. 1 John 2 and 6. He that saith he abideth in him. He that say he abideth in Christ. Go ahead. Ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So you got to walk as Christ walked. Do what did Christ do? 
Jump to verse 4. Verse 4. Uh -huh. He that saith, I know him. You people that say they know Jesus Christ. Right, go ahead. And keepeth not his commandments. And do what? And keepeth not his commandments. You got to keep the commandments so you know Christ. Christ won't friend you. Do Christian wear well friends? No. Christ never ate pork. Christian church say you can eat pork. Shrimp crab. Christ never ate that. Christ told that lady right here, don't play out, pray in open, go in your house and pray in secret. She said, no, we can pray in open. She's going against Christ. That's why we say they contrary to everything that Christ taught. Go ahead. Is a liar. If they don't teach God's commandments, they're what? Is a liar. liar. If you ain't teaching God's commandments, Christ said you a liar. Go ahead. And the truth is not in him. He said the truth is not in him. Right. So let's build up the flat while I say the, I, when the lady came up, I say she in the front and the men in the back. The men supposed to be in the front and she supposed to be in the back. That's what I said. I'm going to show you in the Bible that women don't even hold to be talking when the Bible come out. Read that in 1 Timothy. I'm going to build it up for you. I got a precept on that hold as well, on, too. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you get it. I'm going to build this premises up real quick, and I'm going to let y'all brothers have it. This is the book of 1 Timothy 2 and 11. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn in silence. What the Lord said. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman, she can learn, but she got to be quiet. Go ahead. With all subjection. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Four. First Corinthians. Four, four. The book of First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 14. I write not these things to shame you. Is that First Corinthians? Yes, First Corinthians. Give me 14. Come. 30. Come. 1434. Question, question. You said uh, the women ought to learn in silence, correct? Right. So then if they learned in silence, could they not minister in public? I'm about to, I'm about to show it to you. But we don't that, get to that. Was, I'm getting there right that now. That was all I was wondering. Yeah, go ahead. Read that. Twelve, Verse 12. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach. You suffer a woman not to do what? To teach. A woman don't hold to be teaching. Go ahead. Nor to observe authority over the man. Women don't even pose to be having authority over a man. They don't even pose to exalt themselves over the men. That's right. Go ahead. But to be in silence. What the women got to do? But to be in silence. They got to be quiet. Go ahead. That's it on that. Read yours. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Verse 34. Let your woman keep silent. So the Lord said, let your woman keep silent. You're going to be specific. Go ahead. In the churches. Uh-huh. Well, it... What is church? Anytime the Bible is open, they church. Okay. Just like these women out here. They going up and talking to people. They, they, it's the way they got to do it. Go ahead. For it is not permitted. It is not permitted. Until them okay. to speak. It is not permitted for them to what? To speak. Uh huh. But they are commanded. They what? But they are commanded. It's a commandment. We follow Christ. Said you got to do my commandment. To be under obedience, uh -huh. as also saith the law. In the law, go ahead. And if they will learn anything, if the women want to learn anything. They got to do what? Let them ask their husbands at home. They got to do what? Let them ask their husbands at no, home. No, they supposed to be out of the street ministry. Let them ask their husbands at home. Go ahead. Go for please. it is a shame. It's a shame. Go ahead. For a woman uh -huh. to speak in the church. It's a shame. Ooh. For them. That's a shame. Now go to Titus. Go to Titus. I'm going to show you how the women well, folks teach. Women can no, teach, but it's a way. No, I understand. Which, which, but see, y'all come with scripture, not come with radical. You feel me? Come with the scripture. And as y'all come with the scripture, you can peacefully say these things. That's, and like y'all say, there is a problem if the man is in the back and the woman has to fight his, his war. That is a problem. You feel me? So I understand right. your take on it. going to show you but how women my, folks No, I understand. But my issue is... My, my, my issue is, like, just with the comment that was made. Like, like if you came with scripture and you said it peacefully, but these people are not going to stand here and listen to the scripture. So all they're going to hear you is say, what? Women you know, can't do this, you know women why? can't do that. Because you know why? They're lazy. Because they don't follow the Bible. They do what they want to do. We just read to that lady, don't do your own private interpretation. The Bible says don't add or take away from the word. Because she can suffer well. I've read the scripture to her, did she say, what I think. How you going to think your thoughts over what God say do? Yo, right. What you think 
doesn't matter Teach when it comes to what God says. That's right. That's just like if God say do this, and I'm gonna say, whoa, 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 whoa hold on, God. No, 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 I'm gonna do it my way. So then I got a question. So then why were you insulting ourselves? Why were you insulting us when you insulted Christians? I was insulting Christianity. You didn't That's say Christianity. Because people, what, 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 nine times out of Christians, they gonna say, I'm a Christianity. I'm a Christianity. They gonna say I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm gonna show you. Y'all are Christians. No, hold on. Let me keep going. Then I'm gonna let you see. That's my issue. The freedom. I don't have a problem with the scripture. The book of Titus, chapter two and verse three. That's how the women poke the teeth. The aged woman likewise. The learned woman. Go ahead. That they be in behavior as become holiness, uh -huh. not false accusers, uh -huh. not given too much wine, uh -huh. teachers of good things. Women both can teach, but let's see how they do it. That, may, that they may teach the young woman. They gotta teach who? The young, young women. women. No, they supposed to be out teaching men. The, the young, young women, women. They gotta teach other women. Not teaching the men. Go ahead. To be sober. Uh -huh. To love their husbands. Give me my flock of my pack. To love their husbands. Uh -huh. To love their children. Uh, I read what your precept. Then my heart, you did got a precept to read that. This is the book of 1 Timothy 2 and 14. Uh -huh. 2 and 13. Salakia. For Adam was first born. Adam was first born. Go ahead. Then Eve. Then the woman. Go ahead. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was deceived. That's but, why the God set it up for the men to keep. Right? Because the women get emotional. You start talking to women, they get weak of vessel. They start getting all the motion and they feelings take over. Now they doing, they yelling and screaming. All right, go ahead. But the woman being deceived. But the woman being deceived. Was in the transgression. Right, now read your precept. You got a precept? Read that. Read I got the one that you had told me to grab. That. This is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. Uh -huh. And ye my flock, the flock of my pasture. Men that supposed to be pastoring, go ahead. Are men. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are men. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are men. men. Pastors are men, not women. Not women. If women want to teach and talk about the Bible, they got to talk to other women. A woman can't come up here and start teaching me and telling me what God said. That's out of order. So then, that's okay. So then, redirect her, brother. I tried to. No, but you could have said you could have redirected her to, to this woman right here who seems like she knows what she's talking about because she's alongside. No, because God. you know what I did? I test the spirit. You know what Jesus said? He said, "Test the spirit." To see how. And I was testing her spirit. I said, "If you really believe in Christ." You're going to do whatever he tell you to do. If Christ come down right now and say, hey, jump in that damn lake with them alligators. I got 50 alligators out there. I need you to jump in that lake. I'm going to do it because I'm trusting in the Lord. That's right. I'm not trusting. I ain't going to say, oh, Lord, well, there's too many alligators in there. I don't think I'm going to do it. If the Lord tell you to do something, ain't no. Uh, 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 That's uh, right. And uh, 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 all that right. stuff. That's what Christians do. Right. But so. That's like I said, Christians that's what do. you said again. That's what Christian. We're Christian. So use another hold word. On, hold that's on, what brother. the members of hold the Christian. You call yourself a Christian. Brother, we believe in Christ. Christian. We believe in Christ. Get, get your precept. Enough. Hold on. Get your the, precept. The other precept. What Christians don't do. This is the other precept that I had. Uh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Numbers chapter 27 and verse 16. Listen up. Listen up. Let the Lord, the God of spirits of all flesh, Set a man over the congregation. Set a, who? Set a man over, over the congregation. A man supposed to be over the congregation. All right. Now let's find out. Because you keep saying you're a Christian, and I said you're not a Christian. So it's because you can tell what a Christian is. A Christian we just read is a follower of Christ. 16. Do what Christ do. Let's see what Christ. Give me Numbers chapter 15. Hold on. So you're trying to tell me right now I'm not a follower of Christ? Nope. So then I'm gonna tell you you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Do you follow God. these things? What do you mean? Let's see. Do you follow these things? And then tell you if you're. So then why do you guys? Why do you guys follow Haile Selassie oh, as if he was Ooh. in the scripture? Selassie. Why do y'all follow Selassie if he's in the, as if he's in the scripture? Watch this. Watch this. Why y'all Rastafaris? Go ahead, read that. This is, <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is the book of Numbers. Oh, this is chapter were, 15 and 38. I thought y'all were the, the, the Hey, don't get emotional, tribe, bro. Because that's, that's what know. Christians do. They start getting emotional. Da, 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 da. I that's what y'all All right, here we go. Come on. Speak unto the children. Listen, listen up. Listen up. Listen up, brother. Speak. Unto the children of Israel. We're going to see some of the things that Christ did. Somebody give me that the hymn of his garden. 
and bid them that they make them fringes. You make them what? Fringes. What is fringes, brother? Hold on, read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. Make them what? Fringes uh -huh. and the borders of their garments. And the border of their garments. These are fringes. That's what Pike's telling us that we got to do. Go ahead. Throughout their generations. Hello? Throughout their Hello. generations. What's throughout their generations? If you have a baby, then they can't throughout your generation. Keep doing it. Keep going. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders of a ribbon of blue. Uh, what? At the borders of a ribbon of blue. Where your friend is at, brother? What is that? You're a Christian. Read, hold on. Read what Christ says. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You say you believe in Christ. Right? Of course. Read what Christ. Read that Christ. Hold on. Calm down. I'm good. See that? You. See that? See that? See that? When the word come out, they can't, the fire start getting hot on their feet. They get the tap dancing all the around. And now they got to go. Now they got to go. They start getting hot. I told them that. Read that. Hold on. What did Christ say again? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 9 and verse 20. Read. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Trust his friends. Christ had on friends. I'm going to get him. You do what Christ do. So then, hold on. He ain't got on no friends. Hold on, question. You get emotional. Did Christ ever get emotional when he was talking to the people? You get all emotional. That's a lie. That's a lie. When Christ went to Rome, he threw the tables out because they saw what they were doing. You guys do not know what you're talking about. He didn't was in the midst of sin. He wasn't. When he was dialoguing, was he throwing stuff or getting emotional? No. No, but then hold on. emotional, bro. But then hold on. Only women get emotional. Okay. So, oh, and the effeminate. Yeah, no, that, 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 yeah. Okay. Only women get emotional. Get emotional. Right. Yeah. Only women. Right. Hey, right. when it, hey, when it comes to the Bible, do I look like I'm getting emotional? I listen to every word he said. I didn't jump out the car. I listen to everything calm and cool. But when I start bringing out stuff, I have a question. That's why we're going this Christian. Are you supposed to say something? It's not how you say something. That's how we're going to do. We're going to come through this open. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. If any man is poor enough that he does not even have for garments, is he not a believer in Christ even if he believes in Christ? You're trying to tell me. You're a believer in Christ because you believe in Christ. You got to do work. But if he's. Your work's going to show your belief. But if I don't. I can believe in Christ and go home and smoke weed. I can go home and I can believe in Christ and commit murder. Believing in Christ is not enough, man. Everybody, a lot of people believe in Christ, but, then that's but they still commit sin. They still do and you all kinds of dirt. So if you don't get hold up. No, I don't. You're a liar. No, I don't. I know. I don't commit oh, sin. With, give me, give me Hebrews chapter ten, verse twenty-six. So he getting emotional. He getting all emotional. Look at it. That's how you know Christianity is a joke, man, because they get all emotional. They get emotional. They get into their feelings. Right, read that real quick. Open review. Open review. Go ahead. The book of Proverbs. You're a bitch. Proverbs chapter 28. That's for you. In verse 1. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. When no man pursue it. Go, go, go. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. He's supposed to be a Christian? But the righteous are bold as a lion. You're standing in front of you, though. You're not doing it. Bro, calm down, bro. Are you on the sign? Are you on the sign, bro? Are you on the sign? Do you see your name? Can you just tell me? Do you see yourself on the sign? Are you on the sign? What are you on the sign? Brother, we here to tell you that we your brothers. Trying to fuck me, bro. There it this is not here. Bro, we got you, bro. So this is how you say it. Bro, we've been on that side. We've all been on that side. We've been on that side. The video is, bro. So you got to No, we're not with this bullshit. Bro, don't you supposed to be like a robot. You don't even call it. Bro, peace of love, bro. What they do when they say you So why they preach hate? Bro, can I tell you something? Bro, they come with scripture that's fine, but they come with hate. Right, but can I tell you something? Bro? Read this real quick for him real quick. I don't need to listen to them because they come in 
with bullshit, brother. I'm coming with you. Coming with you came at me with love, so I'm I'm you respecting this, I'm you. Sure you on this side. You on this side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Give me John. You part of the twelve sides. So they trying to fuck. Give me John me, chapter one. Give me love. Give me love. Give me love. Puerto Rican, brother. Give me love. You feel me? They're trying to open with you. You on this side. You our brother. You our brother. I'm with you. 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 That's not how you do it, brother. That's what hate. That's what hate. You came with love. I'm going to show you love. I'm going to show you love. I need you. The book. That's it. What do you identify? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Let me read this to you. That's what I am. Let me read this to you. The book of Proverbs, chapter 27. Thank you. In verse 5. Huh. Open rebuke. Huh? Open rebuke. What? Open rebuke. Open rebuke is what? It's better than secret love. Man, come on, man. I'd rather rebuke you how you crying on your knees. Teacher. Falling out. That's right. And correct you, man, because when Christ comes back, what you think he gonna do? You think Christ gonna be sitting over here hugging and kissing on Absolutely not. Oh man, no, you should be this. It show me love. Christ gonna kill your ass on the damn spot. That's right. He gonna kill you on the spot, man. We don't have time in our life to be sitting over here rubbing your belly, giving our back massages to people, man. That's right. Either you gonna take this rebuke or you not. I ask you where your friend is at. You getting all emotional, man. That's what Christianity and Christians do, man. They get emotional, man. Teach y'all. The Most High is not dealing with emotional men, man. At all. And then we gotta be in order. We gotta get order, man. That's right. I told y'all dudes a hundred times, when these dudes come up here, they gonna do that 70, they gonna wanna shake your hand. Don't shake their hand, man. They fall for it every time, Don't kid. shake their hand. We don't fall for the emotional fall for foolishness, man. These dudes shake your head. He been sitting there for a long time. Like he would wait for us to set up. Then he had his perfect entry. Then he come over and shake your head. You go home, rub your nose. Now your ass sick. Teacher! Don't be shaking these dudes' hand and don't be falling for the okie doke, man. That's right. We the men of the Lord. That's right. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't get out of order. Stay in order. That's right. Don't fall for the okie doke. If you want to be emotional, go to church and let the pastor and Kirk Franklin sing you a damn song. That's right. You can go home and cry. Ooh, 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 ooh the Lord love me. Go home and cry, man. We That's right. Not, we, ain't not, we ain't doing that. That's right. Them days is over with, man. Over. The Lord, the Christ cracked that sky. You think Christ going to come to here and say, hey, brother, hey, brother. No, he not going to do that. That's right. The Lord going to say, how you been keeping my commandments? Right? If you ain't did that, I gotta put you to death. To death! Right? All we try to do, read that part of it, open review. The book of Proverbs, chapter 5, uh -huh. chapter 27, and verse 5. Uh -huh. Open review. Uh -huh. It's better than secret love. Now, 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 give me love. Give me love. The book of John, chapter 14, and verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, uh -huh. Keep my commandments. That's what the Bible say, man. If you love Christ, you're going to keep the commandments. That's right. You ain't going to keep crying in the motion, man. Right? Me and we get emotional. I ain't going to like we don't get emotional. But, man, look. We did been there, done that. Over. Them days are over with. Over. Everybody want us to come out here and tell us how to teach the Bible. Tell us what we should say. How y'all doing? That's right. Man, we, we giving you love. If your daddy whoop your ass, he love you. That's right. If your daddy let you go out there and be a homosexual and say, oh, son, my son, the homosexual, he don't love you. If you say, hey, son, you, you whoop his butt, throw him out your house, say, get away from me, now that's love. That's right. Your daddy love you not. People don't know what love is, man. You want to be emotional, get you a wife so you can hug and kiss on her and get all the love and affection from her. That's right. That's where you get your love. You ain't going to find your love in the Bible talking about kisses and cookies and hugs and spaghetti holes. That's right. It ain't in there, man. You either do the will of the Lord or you're going to die. Let's see if you get out of Christ's own way. You're going to Luke. You're going to go to Luke chapter 13 uh -huh. and verse 3. Let's get what your Messiah said. Everybody say they Christians, 
But when we tell them what Christians do, they follow Christ. Let's see if you follow in Christ. You ain't got no fringes, right? You probably eating all kind of pork. You going against everything Christ told. Everything Christ told you to do, you don't do nothing. Right, read that. Uh, 13 and verse 3. The book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 3. Uh -huh. I tell you nay. This is your Messiah speaking. This is my beloved Jesus Christ that y'all ignorantly call him. Go ahead. But except ye repent. If you don't repent, go ahead. Ye shall all likewise perish. Christ said if you don't repent, you're going to die. That's right. That's as plain and simple. Repent or be ready to die. Teach y'all. Either you repent or you're going to die. We're going to open rebuke you. We're going to open rebuke you. Right? If, you, if we love you, that's how we're going to do it. Well, I, I, if I love you, I'm not going to take you to the corner store, buy you a, lo a supper or a lollipop, and then start rubbing your back. So you got an only egg right there? Okay, let me teach you John, John 3 and 5. Teach y'all. Uh, I'm going to tell you, brother, look, you got to get yourself in love. He came up here with contention. That's right. He didn't even come up here with love. He up here trying to tell love how to teach the Bible. That's right. And then when he started getting cut up, that's why I love the Bible, because the Bible is sharper than any two-edged sword. You ain't got to hit him with a stick. You ain't got to pull out your gun. You ain't got to beat him with a weapon. Read. All you got to do is read. That's it. Because when he cut to that soul inside of you, that inner man, that dude in there bleeding out. Mm. That's all you gotta do. That's it. Let that inner man bleed out. Bleed out. And we ain't gonna be a, we ain't gonna be fooled with no tears. That's right. We're not fooled with no tears. Crying. Because he know he wrong. That's why he cried. If you were a righteous man, you wouldn't even have to cry. That's right. Dude, this is how you gotta come at me, brother. I'm coming at you how the Lord told me to come at you, dude. Right? Give me that and um. in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. Everybody want to tell us how to do our job. But with that present? Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Read that 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Read. Then hold that in Nehemiah. Let's see what Christ say. If you don't do what he say, do. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. He said the unrighteous people are going to inherit the kingdom of God. You got to be a righteous man to inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. Right? Keeping the commandments. Go ahead. Be not deceived. What? Be not deceived. What the Lord say? Be, be not, not deceived. deceived. Don't be deceived with them tears, man. Don't be deceived. Go ahead. No fornicator. No fornicator. No adulterer. No adulterer. No adultery. Uh huh. No effeminate. No what? No, no effeminate. And when you doing all that emotional stuff, that's effeminate, dude. Then like that guy over there said, "Me and Duke get emotional, dude. We talking about a different kind of emotion. My mama died. I'm getting emotional. My son, if something happened to my kid, I'm emotional." I lose my job, I might get emotional. But if we read the Bible, what you getting emotional for? Why are you crying like a baby? That's right. Go ahead. No effeminate. No abuses of themselves with mankind. Uh -huh. No thieves. No covetous. Uh -huh. No drunkards. No revelers. No extortioners. Uh -huh. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's why I tell y'all don't try to fight these dudes. That's right. But the Bible says don't be a reveler. Don't be up here getting up loud and mad with these dudes, man. When they don't get it, be, hey, hey, we just put them in that two-third category. That's right. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to check the box. Two-third. Chick, chick. I ain't got to argue with you. You don't get it, I'm not going to be over here arguing with you. I'm going to just check that two-third box. There go another check in the two-third box. I'm almost at that 66%. That's right. That's all I'm going to do. Right, go ahead and read that in Nehemiah. This is the book of Nehemiah, 8 and 8. Uh -huh. So they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly. Right, so the Bible says we got to read out of the book of the Bible. He's going to tell us how we got to do it. That's right. Let's see if he's going to say, walk around with some sign and say, I pray for you, or I come up and love everybody. Let's see what the Bible says. 
and gave the sense. And do what? And gave the sense. He said, break open the Bible, right? Have somebody read it. Somebody giving the sense of what it's saying, the understanding. Go ahead. And cause them to understand the reading. Understand the reading. Keep going. And Nehemiah, which is the Tershada, and Ezra, the priest, uh -huh. the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people. They taught the people. They said to all the people, do what? This day is holy uh -huh. unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Right, but they were sincere. You're going to wept when you're sincere. Go ahead. Keep reading. Start at verse 1. Nehemiah 8 verse 1 And all the people gathered themselves together uh -huh. As one man into the street uh -huh. That was before the water gate uh -huh. And they spake unto Ezra uh -huh. The scribes to bring the book of the law of Moses They brought out the Bible Go ahead Which the Lord had commanded to Israel he Commanded us to come out here and teach man There ain't no option but let's see how he told her to do. Let's see if he said walk around with signs and go talk to people on the side. Go ahead. See, John. And Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the congregation. And that's what we're doing. We tell them the brother the law. You ain't got no fringes on, brother. That's right. <laughs> Read on. Both of men and women. Who? Men and women. Men and women. Go ahead. And all that could hear with understanding. Uh-huh. Upon the first day of the seventh month. Go ahead. And he read therein before the street. Right. That was at the feast of blowing of the trumpet. The first day of the seventh month. That's what they were doing. They were out teaching the Bible. Let's see how they were doing it. Go ahead. That was before the water gate. From the morning until the midday. Right. They was teaching all day on the street corner. Go ahead. Before the men and the women. Uh -huh. And those that could understand. Uh -huh. And the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. And Ezra, the scribe, stood upon a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose. They made a pit like a wood. You see some camp doing it, standing on the podium. Go ahead. And beside him stood Madaniah. And who? Madaniah. Mm -hmm. John. And Shammah. Who? And Ananiah. Uh huh. And Aria. And who? And Aria. Okay. And Helikiah. Uh huh. And Messiah. Messiah. On the right hand. And on the left hand. On the right hand and on the left. Go ahead. Hadiah. And Mishael. And Malachi. And Hashum. And Hashabana. And Zer Zariah. Zechariah. And Mel Shulam. Right, they would have a camp. That's right. That's how we doing it, like the Bible told us to do. If the Lord said in the Bible, look, go out, get some signs and say, I will pray for you, and go out and talk to people, that's what we'd do. That's what we'd do. But the Bible don't tell us to do or out and do that. The Bible never told us to pray out in the open, talk to people and say, hey, I'm going to pray for you. No, you sharply open your beauty. That's right. That's love. Go ahead. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, uh -huh. for he was above all the people. Uh -huh. And when he stood, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. Right. Right. But they were trying to hear. That's right. Right. They was hearing the, they was hearing the book of the, of the law. He was teaching them the law, man. That's right. So we out here to teach our people, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Because the day that, 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 that the Lord is at the day of the Lord is at hand. That's right. Right? See, so our people been gummed down, washed, uh, what they call it, wa uh, uh, washed, uh, washed up, gummed down, softened up, buttered up. Watered down, yeah, they watered down. Then when you go to the Christian church, you get that watered down version of the Bible. And when you come over here, hey, you get the raw. 
You get you get the raw deal. That's right. Uncut. The, the uncut, uncensored. That's right. Virgin on the fire. That's right. You want to go to you want to water down virgin? Go to your Sunday pastor. Teach y'all. He gonna water the Bible down for you. He gonna tell read every scripture you want to hear. Right? Somebody give me John three sixteen. This is what your Christian pastor. The first scripture he gonna go to. You believe in the Bible? Huh? You believe in it? You got a minute? All right, when you come back, come holler at me. All right, read that. Read John 3, 16. This is oh, the no. book of... I'm going to say this. Before we read it, we're going to see how many people going to start clapping their hands. Because this is they, 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 they go to. When you bag them up in the corner, this is their favorite scripture. Go Peace, John. This is the book of John 3 and 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world. What the Bible say? For God so loved the world. Christians happy now. They got a <laughs> smile on their face. Look at them. Look at them out here. They like, oh yeah. Yes, sir, he does. <laughs> Teach y'all. Go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son. Look at him. Everybody looking now. When we reading God say repent or die, didn't nobody look. Now we're saying God so loved the world. Everybody got their attention. Go ahead. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. They love that scripture right there. That's their go-to. They love that scripture. They know that's our that's our go-to. That's that's they that's the one right there. They don't want to keep nine commandments. Go to Matthew. Go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Yeah. Uh, we got some Christians, they ain't gonna come over here. They ain't gonna stop. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Okay, go to Acts 3 and 18. What the Lord say? Think not that I come to destroy the law. What the Lord say? Think not that I come to destroy the law. The Lord said he didn't come to destroy the law. Christians say you don't gotta keep the law. What the Lord say? Think not that I come to destroy the law. Read on. Or the prophets. Uh -huh. I have not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. To do what? But, but to, to fulfill. fulfill. Christian says he fulfilled the law. Let's see what the Bible says. Read Acts 3 18. This is the book of Acts 3 and 18. Let's see what the Lord fulfilled. Let's see what the law. But those things which God before had showed uh -huh. by the mouth of all his prophets uh -huh. that Christ should suffer. Christ should suffer in what? He has so fulfilled. He fulfilled his suffering. He didn't fulfill the end of the law. That's what Christians say. He fulfilled the end of the law. Law up. We ain't got to keep the law because Christ fulfilled the law. He fulfilled his suffering, man. That's right. Right? Keep reading what you got. Because the Christian going to stop right there. They ain't going to read no more. See, the law been fulfilled. Close the book. Let's go get us some pork chop. Some shrimp, cocktail, right? Some jello pudding, all kind of pork. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 18. Uh huh. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass. Oh, I think I'm still on the I think I'm still on the earth. To heaven and earth pass. I think the third dimension is still up there. To heaven and earth pass. Right? I still feel the wind blowing on me. To heaven and earth pass. Go ahead. One jot uh -huh. or one tittle uh -huh. shall in no wise pass from the law. And one jot or one tittle should no wise pass from the law. So when that Christian was walking by, he was like, yeah. When I said, oh, that Christ fulfilled the law. Yeah. But I, yeah, yeah. We got to keep reading, Christian, man. One jot or one tittle. Go ahead. To all be fulfilled. To everything in the Bible be fulfilled. Go ahead. Whoso therefore, whosoever therefore shall break it. One of these least commandments. If you break one of God's commandments, go ahead. And shall teach men so. And that's what the church do. The Christian church, they teach the people they ain't got to keep no commandments. You ain't got to keep no commandments. Christ fulfilled it. Go ahead. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. They don't read that part. Teach y'all. They stop. They don't read. And they say we isolate scripture. Y'all isolating the Bible. You go on here, go on there. Yes, they go here a little, there a little. Right? Go ahead. Give me that up. But whosoever shall do and teach whoever them. Whoever keep the law and do it and keep it. Go ahead. The same shall be called 
great in the kingdom of heaven. Right, great in the kingdom of heaven. Read that precept, bro. This is the book of Isaiah, 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, uh -huh. if they speak not according to this word, uh -huh. it is because there is no light in them. That's what the Lord says. Yeah. You don't speak Peace according up. to the Bible, there's no light in you. That's right. There's no light in Christians. He's like, why? You a Christian? Yeah, we Christians. But the terminology, Christianity, a person ain't going to go up and say, I'm Christianity. No. I'm a Christianity. That's why we use the terminology Christian. That's right. Right? We use that term because the people can understand. That's why we say Jesus and God. We know his name is Yahweh, 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 But that ain't, if I'm out here saying that, they don't know what I'm talking about. Teach y'all. That's why we use those terminologies, God, Christ. Stuff like that. Jesus. So people know what we're talking about. So my people, the lost sheep, they don't know no better. That's right. The lost and the salt. And we are to pull them out to burn and fight. That's right. Right? We're going to pull them out to fight. Hey, give me that piece that we read earlier. Second message. Uh, was it 73 or something like that? Uh, we're trying to burn. we trying to pull the chosen people out to burn it, man. Y'all got that hot fire on y'all toes. I told that dude, he's gonna be you over here tap dancing, man. Get out of here, man. You over here crying your feelings, man. I ain't gonna get out of here. When dudes like that, them the guys just really, you gotta really start walking in the park because he might get all mad and try to do something. Keep your <laughs> eyes open. Y'all gotta watch people like that. Don't be deceived by these dudes, man. I, I'm telling you, I've been there, done that, man. Been there, done that. Don't argue with them. Don't get near. Let, let the scripture cut the heart, heart them up. Slice them up in the inside. Right? Somebody find that scripture, my heart. Yeah, got two edged sword. You got it? No, I got the one. Read that. Read that. Got it, Paul? What uh, are we reading you, there? About you wanted want want 17. No, you wanted 16 and 70, uh, 73. 73. Read that. The book of 2nd Andrews, oh, cha chapter 16 and verse 73. Uh -huh. Then shall they be known. Uh -huh. Who are my chosen? Who are my what? My chosen. Then you gonna know that you are the chosen. That's why we out here teaching you the chosen. You're God's people. Twelve tribes of Israel. Right? That's right. And they shall be tried. They shall be what? They shall be tried. You're gonna be tried, man. Go ahead. As the gold in the fire. As the gold in the fire, man. Go ahead. Hear, O ye my beloved, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. See there? That's why we trying to tell you, man, this day is a trouble we're in. All that crying, when all hell break loose and the missiles going, and them sirens going, whoop, 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 whoop. We're going to see if you're going to be sitting there going, <laughs> or you're going to be trying to get the hell out of there. That's right. Ain't going to be no time for crying. It's going to be too late for you. You might well go on the corner and cry, but it's too late for you now. Go ahead and read that, bro. This is the book of second address, 7 and 20. Uh -huh. For there be many that shall perish in this life because they despise the law of God that is set before them. Right. They despise God's laws, man. They're going to gonna perish. That's what the Bible says. If you ain't keeping God's laws, the Bible says you're going to perish. You're going to perish. They go, you, you trying to tell me you're a sinner? You're a liar. You're a sinner too. Look here, bro. Give me Hebrew. Give me that Bible in Hebrew real quick. Read that real quick. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter, chapter 8 and verse 41. Uh -huh. For as the husband man soweth much seed yeah, yeah. upon the ground uh -huh. and planted many trees. That's what we are here doing. We plant these trees, man. Go ahead. And yet the things that is sown good in his season cometh not up. Uh-huh. Neither do of all that is planted take root. Right, that brother didn't take root. Go ahead. Even so, it is of them that are sown in the world. Uh -huh. They shall not at all be saved. They shall what? They shall, shall not at all, all be, be saved. saved. They ain't going to be saved, man. You don't take heed to the words that we plant out to you, you ain't going to be saved. That's right. You ain't going to be saved. Christianity going to get you death. Keeping God's laws going to get you life. That's right. Right? Somebody give me that in Proverbs by my law of the land and light. Y'all know Proverbs 6 and what is it, Mom? Go ahead, read that. This is the book of 
Hebrews 10 and 26. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully. If we sin willfully, right? If we doing it willfully, we might be doing sin that we might be not aware of. That's right. Right? I might have went to the, uh, 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 somewhere and got some, something to eat. And accidentally, it might have been the pork product 623. in there. 623. Right? It might have been pork product in there. And I didn't know. I'm not doing it willfully. Go That's ahead. right. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. Uh-huh. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Right. Right. He said if you do it willingly. We're not doing sin and willingly. We might be doing it ignorantly. Not knowing, not aware. That's right. But we're not sinning willfully, man. And there's no man that sinned according to uh, first Kings, man. My king had a proverb. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse 23. For the commandments is a lamp. The commandments is a lamp. And the law is a light. And the law is light, man. You want to let your light shine, you got to keep the law. That's right. That's what the Bible saying. The law is the, your light. That's all the these lights out here dim. That's right. You a dim dude. You dim. Go ahead. And reproof of instructions. What? And reproof of instructions. And that's what we were doing to that brother. We were reproving him. That's right. We were reproving him, right? Are the way of life. You see that? What's the way of life? Giving you a hug or a kiss or giving you correction? Giving you correction. That's the way of life. That's right. Not being all rubbing your belly. Oh, God, I love me, man. Get out of here. I'm a man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Hebrews 4 and 12. Uh -huh. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And the Bible sharper than any two-edged sword. You don't have to fight no Christian. Not at all. You ain't got to argue with them. Not at all. So when you want to learn, you got to argue and fight. But when you learn, you just cut them up with the sword. That's right. The spiritual sword. Go ahead. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul uh -huh. and spirit and the joints of marrow. Woo, you and see it, that? It's slicing that spirit on the inside of you up. Go ahead. And it is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Right in the tents of the heart, man, that stuff kill you to the heart. Teach on. That's like when we was talking to the girl, it killed her heart, she had to go. When she go home, she probably gonna lay in the bed and bust out in tears. That brother, ain't no telling where he at. He probably going somewhere, cocking a gun or anything. You don't know what these crazy people these days. 2022, these men, their testosterone levels are so low, they so feminine, they get into their feelings, 